I'm Kenneth Mook. I'm the medical director at Gateway Rehabilitation Hospital in Florence, Kentucky. Uh, we're a Viber owned facility. Uh, I had an interesting uh, book that I read during the summer that uh, was written by Fred Lee called If Disney Ran Your Hospital. Uh, Fred Lee developed a Disney approach to quality service in the healthcare industry. He worked for Disney in 1996 and 1997, and prior to his experience, uh, he was a hospital administrator and leader and was in the service dash excellence consultation and training. The mission of Disney is to provide an excellent experience for people who go to their theme parks. Uh, most of us have all been to a Disney park. Uh, as I was a child in Southern California, I went to Disneyland multiple times for birthday parties uh, when it was uh, new and exciting. And it's still new and exciting to me even as I'm an adult. Um, I love to go to Disney. I love Disney World and I love Disneyland. Um, I am a Disney fanatic in, in essence, as you can tell. The Disney experience uh, is one of excellence. And the goal of our hospital should be to provide the same degree of excellent experience for people who have gone to Disney, but also now are in a hospital, they should expect that same type of experience. The purpose of taking the concept of Disney entertainment and excellent and applying it to a hospital setting is more about culture and not specifically about service. There are several ways you can change the culture of your hospital uh, and those who work in it. Number one, redefine the competition and focus on what you cannot measure. It's more about impressions than about reality. The competition is not another hospital. The competition is actually who the customers compare you to. This could be a favorite restaurant, a previous hospital stay, or even a stay at a hotel that provides this excellent service. You must manage perceptions and not just work on outcomes. Patients' perceptions focus on personal responsibility, taking actions, improving behaviors and attitudes, and eliminating avoidance. Make courtesy an important, more important than efficiency. Break down barriers uh, between departments, improve the communication between departments, and develop cross-functional teams. The other thing you want to do is you want to develop loyalty of your patients through compassion and not through patient surveys. New employees develop competence when their experience grows. They then develop courtesy, but when they are fully developed, they actually develop compassion. This is the level of care that we seek in our hospital at Gateway Rehab. Patient surveys should focus on the patient experience of compassion and not always about what they actually liked, whether the food was warm or whether their bed was made when they came back from therapies, but did the staff treat them with compassion? It's important in your culture to always seek improvement, not only seeking impressions. We want to do both, but we really are looking more towards improvement. It was told in the book about Disney that if you actually want to know what's really happening in your hospital, ask the housekeepers. They're the ones who actually get most of the information. We also need to decentralize the authority to say yes. We need to cross-train our staff to anticipate and fill the needs of any patient request. No activity is below the level of any member of the team, which includes transferring or assisting a patient with toileting. At Disney, if you've ever noticed, you can go ask any employee at Disney and they will direct you to someone who knows the answer. They're never allowed to say, I don't know, and then walk away. They are allowed to say, I don't know, but let me find somebody who can help you. And then they actually literally take you to that person. They never leave you and go get the person and bring them back. We need to do the same thing in our hospitals. Our next area is harnessing motivation and imagination. Motivate employees work on compliance, that is, doing what someone tells you you must do. Then they'll move on to willpower, doing what I believe I should do, and eventually to imagination, doing what I think I should do because I like to do it, and then eventually create a habit, which is doing what comes naturally. So if you look at experience, people will move from compliance to willpower to imagination to habit, and we need to make it all habit within our building that everybody's working to motivate each other to motivate the patients and to build up that great patient experience. We also need to create a climate of dissatisfaction with all the employees in that they always want to improve. A culture of continued improvement motivates hospital employees to seek patient satisfaction rather than seeking their own satisfaction. We should just be like Disney. Our goal here is to make your experience so great that you will always want to come back. 
That should be the motivation of the staff, the administration, housekeeping, dietary, everybody to say, we're here for you. Just like as a cast member at Disney, we're here to make your experience so great that you will always tell your family members, your friends, go to Gateway because you'll have the greatest experience ever. Overall, working in a hospital setting where your voice is heard and that you are always encouraged to dream and develop new ideas and develop excellence with a goal of patient satisfaction and loyalty. The experience that you receive when you're going to Disneyland or Disney World is developed by the environment of courtesy and efficiency, but also of compassion. While at Disney, they have developed an industry that has brought characters to life, such as Mickey, that become friends of our own and show life experiences similar to our own. Despite there being mostly animal characters, such as Mickey Mouse or Pluto or Donald Duck or inanimate objects such as uh, Lightning McQueen or Tomato, they interact with each other in a compassionate manner. Disney has allowed his studios to seek excellence in their development of movies, plots, developing new attractions at their parks, keeping patri patrons coming back again and again to the theme parks. I cannot tell you how many times I've been to Disneyland in my life as a child, and I've enjoyed Disney World as an adult with my own children. Let's share this experience with our patients. S, sense people's needs before they ask, otherwise show initiative. H, help each other out as promoting teamwork. A, acknowledge people's feelings and show empathy. R, respect with dignity and privacy of everyone showing courtesy. And E, explain what is happening through proper communication. That is how we S-H-A-R-E share the experience with our patients. Thank you.